This is an overview lesson where we will see the different edit and presenting basics. To enter the edit mode, you can either create a new Prezi, either from scratch or from a template. Uh, we will not use Convert PowerPoint. We will have a dedicated lesson for that. For this particular lesson, we are going to click on Start from Scratch just so we can see the Prezi edit screen. So let's go there. Once we click on Create a new Prezi or in Edit a Prezi, we enter the edit screen of Prezi. The structure of Prezi is simple and subtle. You have containers of information called topics that you can use to add more information inside. Prezi works as an open canvas where you can place different containers of information that will display that information at inner levels. So we create a container of information and then with a double click or scrolling up with your mouse, you get to access that area of the presentation, which is like a bucket, like a box where you can put stuff inside. And then you use the option insert text, images, icons, animations, arrows and lines. We will have a dedicated lesson on the course for each of these items, text, images, icons, how to work with them, how to have a library. We will get there soon. The Prezi edit screen features a contextual menu. This menu that you have here, all this bar that in this case is empty, will perform differently depending on what you select with your mouse when you are working with stuff. If I click on text, can you see how this contextual menu changes and gives me options to work with text. If instead we choose an image, for example, our contextual menu changes to options for working, modifying, placing, or replacing that image. If instead uh, we select a topic, the options that we will have are specific for the topic. Another trick that is important to always keep in mind is that the right click on your mouse gives you more options. Some advanced options and some simple options, but you can add animations, you can update the theme of your presentation based on a specific action, and you can have advanced topic editing. So you can have, for example, a cover in the front of a topic instead of the basic circle that Prezi presents when you start a new topic or subtopic. We also have options to present right in our edit screen. We will have a chapter for all the different ways to present. But what matters is that when you are working on edit mode and you are making changes, you can quickly click on present to have a preview of what you are doing. This is not the best way to present a presentation to a public. This is for you. This is a preview for you. In order to exit the present screen, you tap the ESC key on your keyboard, and then I go back to presenting mode. You click on an object, you can select that object. But if you click on another object, you will be selecting other options. By using the shift key, bottom left, on your keyboard, you can select multiple objects at the same time. You can achieve the same effect by pressing the shift key and selecting stuff. If you don't press the shift key, your canvas will move because you are grabbing and moving the entire canvas. One of the fastest ways to create topics is copy and paste them. So you can either use a right click on your mouse and use the options to cut, copy, paste, and delete, but you can also use your keyboard. You can select, for example, a topic and press Ctrl plus C, the letter C on your keyboard to copy. 
and then Control and V to paste. In this way, you will preserve the style, colors, and cover of your topic instead of starting from scratch. If you have a topic that you replace the cover and gave a specific shape and a specific style, you don't have to do that again from scratch. You can just copy and paste the topic. Another interesting stuff when working in edit mode is that you can group elements. Let's add an image. We are going to add two images from uh, Prezi's library. If you select both of them, one object and the next, and then with the right click, you can group them. When you group them, they behave as one element. If I grab one, the whole group will move. And if I modify one, I will modify the, the whole group. If I click once and once again, I can modify that element within the group. Once I click outside, it's still a group. 